Okay, so first of all, I have three tables here. One for 2013, one for 2014, and one for 2015. And in each of them, I have measurements for a range of compounds. However, the compounds that I have measurements for are different in each of the years. And I wanted to be able to add these three tables together. And I'm going to use, do this using a query. So first of all, I'm going to make each of my tables into official Excel tables. So I'm going to select somewhere inside the table and press Control T. Then I'm going to select OK. And then I'm going to change the name of this table to year 2013. Then I'm going to do that again for each of the other two tables. So I'm going to call this one year 2014 and this one year 2015. Then I am going to go to data and from table and it will open up query editor for me. Then I'm going to go to close and load to and I'm going to only create connection and then I'm going to load. Then I'm going to do the same thing for this table. So I'm going to select from table and it will open query editor. Then I will go close and load to and only create connection and load. Then I'm going to go to 2013 from table and this time I'm going to append queries. I want three or more tables and I'm going to add 2014 and 2015 to the tables. Then I'm going to select OK. And now you can see it has added 2014 and then 2015 on underneath the 2013 table. And you can see that it has automatically lined up all of the columns so that the compounds have their own columns. So for example, this compound wasn't measured in 2015, so it's just added in a lot of null values. If I scroll all the way till the end, these are the compounds that were only measured in 2015. So it has added in null values for 2013 and 2014. Now I'm going to close and load this. And it is going to create a new sheet and is going to add this table in. Now this is still called 2013, so I'm going to change this table name to all three years. And if I wanted just the raw data for this without any of the connections, I could just copy all of the columns and then I'm going to go control C and create a new sheet and then I'm going to paste this as values. I'm just going to change the date back into the date format and then I'm going to add in a gap between each of these years. And now I have all of my compounds lined up in the correct columns and I can do whatever I want with this data now. Okay, and that is it.